Hello, everybody. I'm back. I'm home at last. I hope everybody is doing well, and I hope everybody has been good. I'm sorry about the last week. The floor got installed. It looks beautiful, so I am back. I hope everybody has had I am just letting people know that I am live in the groups so everybody can know that I'm, I'm letting people know in the groups. So, you know, we um, went up to the Catskill for two weeks. And that was fun. And then we spent, um, we spent some time in a hotel right by where I live. So I want to show you guys. The first item I'm going to show you is these little stands I got for my paintings. Hi, Kim. How are you? Oh, I should warn you. This should be called the Nabler's Alert. <laughs> So the first item I got was these two pen stands to hold my diamond pens because I have five already in the other one. But yeah, I know. You guys have not seen how um, dusty everything was when I came home. I had to literally dust off everything because there was dust all over the place. I have lots of I have lots and lots of package. So I bought these to hold. <laughs> yeah, so we got these. Miss Michelle, you know what this is. I have it wrapped up so nobody will guess what it is, but you know what this is, so don't worry. So we have some stuff here, so. I'm going to open up the pens first because those seem to be the little items. Yeah, it was so dusty. So the first item comes from Justin Bass, as you can tell. And this is from Donna Bass. She makes a, a bunch of pens. Um, I'm part of her Facebook group. So, you guys all know me and scissors. Now, this is a custom pen, guys. See, it says thank you for supporting small businesses. I'm part of her Facebook group. This is one that I had custom made. As you can tell, there's two ends. You can do it like this. And you can put it in like this. See? I want to show you guys this. This was custom made. Um, the house is pretty dusty, but the floors look nice. So I got this one from Donna Bass, and this is a ring. She puts little, if you want the rings. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this is a purple one. I originally wanted this in pink, but she didn't have any like this in pink. So that one, is, this one was a custom one, so I'm putting it right there. Isn't it? She makes really beautiful stuff, guys. Um, you have to get on her custom list. I happen to be very lucky to be on her custom list. Now, the next pen comes from Patriotic Beauty. Now, I already opened this because I wanted the candy, which happened to be like one of those sour um, chooselers. So I bought that. I didn't open the pen, however. But I did get it. So... This is the pen, and this one is called Holly Jolly, because it was like I wanted one with Christmas colors on it. Our, our scissors are always flying out of. These are the little unicorn scissors, if you guys know. But look at this. This is beautiful. This is called Holly Jolly, which means it's green and red. And this comes from Stephanie Sebastian of Patriotic Beauty. Now, some of these I ordered a while back. They just came. So don't think the pens will come at once. Now, this one comes from Laura Lid 
of Anxiety Art Adventures. Now, she has a business now. Um, she's a fellow YouTuber. She has started selling a package. Now, here's the package. Thank you for your order. This comes from Anxiety Art Adventures. Um, she has now a business on Etsy. This was impromptu, so I didn't put any of the links down, but she's selling a new product called We Wax. It's kind of like, um, you know, the wax that you use for your diamond paints as well. It's kind of like that. So she has come up with an all natural product. Just make sure there's nothing in the bags. So she bought one. Oh, yay. I get a chewy. I get a candy. Yay. So this is We Wax. Now this is like you put the wax on your pen. I give it for her. I like the packaging. And she uses all natural ingredients in this product. This is called We Wax. So it's a brand new product. And every way she sells a different scent. So I don't remember what scent I got. So I'd have to smell this. Oh, that's a nice like vanilla scent. So you know how you put it in your pens? Well, you dip your pen in like you would for the diamond wax, and then you do that. So it's kind of like diamond painting wax. So that comes from her. Now, I ordered all of these at different times. It just happens because I was away for two and a half weeks. Oh, there's coloring books. Believe me, there's coloring books. Have my, and like two or three books have not arrived yet, so do not feel bad if you do not see the books. They are coming. I do not have the Christmas special yet. Well, this comes from Lisa Duckett of Custom Painting, Diamond Paintings, 802 Custom Diamond Paint. Then pens from her Facebook group. Everything I ordered at different times, it just happened because I was going away for two and a half weeks. That everything comes all at once. So this guy gives you... I did happen to order um, Kelly Horton's digital books. Oh, yeah. She wrote me a note. Grace, thank you for buying another pen off of me. I hope you love this one. So... I didn't have a pen this color. I wanted a pen this color. This is okay, it has no ends, but I will find tips. I didn't have a pen this, like, look at this, guys. Now, she sometimes, what she does in her Facebook group is she'll have blanks, and then she'll um, sell you the blanks. And if you want to... She'll sell you the blanks, and then she'll turn the pens from the blanks. So I really like this blank. I didn't have this blank. So when you don't get... Guys, you see, when you don't get pens, you, tips, you can just take them off of the other thing here. Take them off the cheap uh, pink pen. Take them off the cheap pink pen and you put one in here. Put one in like that. That's a straight enough. This is why I keep all the the spare placers. 
guys, I keep all, a lot of my spare places around. Because you never know when you might need the spare places. So, that one will go right here. Then I also got a nice little strawberry dum-dum. And that's how you get tips if you guys don't have to keep the tips on your thing. Now, this pink envelope, there's a pink envelope here. This one comes from Bella's DP Pens. Now, Bella's Sarah also has a Facebook group. Now, she also has an Etsy site. My first pen came from her Etsy site. But then um, I saw some of the other pens that she was doing on her Facebook group. So. Pens. So there's a lots of pens here. Oh, I get a nice green lollipop. Then I get a thing like this. Right. I'm gonna put all the candy in this bag. I think that's a like nice thing to do. I'm gonna put all the candy in this bag because I like the little thing in here. And this one I want as a pen drop. Now, what a pen drop means is that you have a chance to win the pen to purchase it, but there are other people competing for it. So I want this to be a pen drop. I still have to pay for it. But pen drops, they always tell you upon what the price is of the pen, and then that's up to you if you select it. Oh, nice. Handmade with love. Ooh. Look at that. That is really pretty. That is like and I think either this is scepter or lady. I can't remember which is the shape of this, but this is called a purple abalone. So that one goes there. Now this is the last of the pens, but certainly not the least of them. This comes from Enablers Outpost, guys. I love this store. This store always has really nice stuff. So just want you guys to know that. Oh, I like this. Look at this. A nice little pencil. A Halloween pencil. That's my invoice. This lovely thing. Mm -hmm. Nice little bag of treats. So, look at that. I love these little things here. This thing here it said Enablers Outpost. Now, Enablers Outpost has an Etsy shop. They also have a Facebook group, which is a really nice thing. Oh, look at that. I've never seen a lollipop like this before. That's, listen, I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to ask her what that is. The card. So she's going to give me, that's a coupon for the next time I order. Oh, I like this little Halloween thing. Oh, that's nice. A little bracelet. A blue bracelet. Washi tape. That and that. I really 
really sure what these things are, but I like them. They're very Halloween-y. And I guess these are the tips for the pen. I really like this bag because I can use the bag for something else. So this is a Navalers Outpost. I'm terrible at opening things, especially on camera. Like, I like to open things live because then you get my, my genuine reaction. So this comes from Enablers Outpost, the pens. It's, I only ordered one. You know, she, they wrap these pens so well. And they package everything so pretty. This is why I had, I really, uh, um, I found Raya through somebody. I forget who I found you through, but I was looking at somebody else's channel. Oh, yes, this is the one that I wanted for a long time. Now, what happened the first time around, they had problems with um, fitting the holes in it. But this is um, a blue diamond paint with, pen, with pine cones in this. They finally had this again, so I really, really like it. So I think you put this one here. Mm -hmm. Yep, that one goes in there. Isn't it nice? I like the pine cones. Mm. Mm. Maybe I'll need a bigger one. Isn't the color pretty? I like the color. I like the blues. I have plenty of purples now. And then you did this one. And that'll go here. So, but I keep um, a lot of my extras. Guys, also remember if you guys don't have, if your dying pens don't come with um, tips, you can use the pink ones that you get in the kit and take those tips off and they'll fit the other pens. So keep that in mind. I keep a lot of my spare um, six and nine places a lot of time. So, oh, then I got the, this is cute too. This is a really cute pencil. I haven't seen one like that before. So I'll just move that here. We'll move the wee wax somewhere. Yeah, this is Laura Lid's new product called uh, Wee Wax. You know her as Anxiety Art Adventure. She has a store now, guys. So remember, if you want to support. Now, Michelle said, I can't show this book to her. So, Michelle, you have to look away now. <laughs> now, everybody knows what this is probably going to be. Now we get on to the coloring books. <laughs> I got this a few days ago. I knew when it came. So, because I got the email. <laughs> yes. Yes, everybody. Lizzie got her Clara book. <laughs> and yes, this is an enabling street. So was it. I also got two of um, Kelly Fortune's digital books. So this is still in the plastic because I just came home and I got it. So
Michelle knows what this is. You must look away, Michelle. This is the Claremont cover book. You knew when I saw this, I was like, money, this, it was pricey. I will not lie to you guys, but I thought it was worth it. So, of course, they give us. Give us a nice little bookmark. I'd love to give this like a new shape for the bookmark here. And the pages are black. This is the new Clara McCova book, guys. I just love, oh my goodness, I love this one. I think I'm in love. I think this may be Clara's new, my favorite of all Clara's books. But I love all of Clara's books, guys. So, You know, this is an impromptu stream. I wasn't planning on doing a nighttime stream, but then I saw how many things I got. So I was like, yes, no. The only problem is finding a place for all the new books, but I'll find a place. I always do. Look at this. Isn't this cute? Okay. I think we'll stop here because I know Michelle might want to see other books. <laughs> If you're looking at my diamond pendant collection. It is a beautiful book, but I think we're going to stop there because I might want to do a full flip through of this on the channel. So. <laughs> it is beautiful, isn't it? Our next one. Now, this is volume paper and I do have one other item besides some coloring books this is volume paper now what I want to do with this is sometimes when I color um, if you color too hard on some of your books you notice that sometimes they'll indent and go on other pages um, so what I want to do is when I color I want to have paper that can absorb those ink marks so I got this paper specifically because I've heard that this is the best paper. Now, I don't know if it is the best paper or not, but I know some people have told me you need to use vellum paper if you're using pencils or markers. Usually for markers, I use a blot of paper. So. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people with this woman, and I don't have any of her books. Her name is Ava Brown. Tell Michelle she can come back now. <laughs> Michelle can come back now, Kim. This is Beautiful Woman Coloring Book by Ava Brown. Now, I've never used, I've never had Ava Brown before. I hadn't even heard of her, but as you can tell, it's um on here. So you guys know how much I like coloring women and flowers and things like that. So I started seeing people get Ava Brown, and I was like, who is this? I've never heard of this. Yeah, a lot of people are uh, using it, you know, so I don't know how well it's going to work. So we'll see if the volume paper works well for pencil, for colored pencil. But I've heard that uses that's supposed to work very well. I don't know how well it works or not. So I'm going to try it for the first time, too. So this is Ava Brown. Hey, Andrea. I'm doing a late night stream. Um, you better watch your wallet. <laughs> I, uh, 
Yeah, this is going to be a stream where people get enabled. So I'm just warning people now. Beautiful Patterns, Relaxing Coloring Book for Adults by Demita Victoria. <laughs> I have a thing. Yes, I did. Actually, guys, I'm going to show you some of the things I colored, actually, on vacation. If you guys would probably would like to see that, too. And guess what? I did not bring markers with me. I brought colored pencils, and I brought the Crayola colored pencils with me, of all things. And you guys all know, you all, you guys all know um, that going away was fun. Okay, for two weeks, we went to the Catskill. Um, he wasn't done, so then we went, my mother rented a hotel a few blocks from our house. So, so we could stay for the last few days. So that's where we've been since Sunday till now. And then, well, when we were in the Catskills, my mother had a timeshare. So we stayed up there. Um, what happened was the second night, I was going to bed. Now, some of you may have heard this story in Michelle's uh, stream because I told her the story. Well, what happened was when I went to turn on the faucet and I was going to turn on the faucet, the whole faucet came off out and it was like a geyser came out of nowhere. <laughs> of course, right? I have the weirdest things happen, right? So then I'm telling my mother, call the plumber. And my mother's going, no. So my mother is putting towels underneath the water so that the water can absorb it. And then all of a sudden, you know, this guy comes within like two or three minutes of the thing coming. And he's six foot six, right? He was six, six, six. He was like the tallest guy I'd ever seen in my life. But in the two or three minutes that it took him to come, my mother and me, my mother is swishing all the things down up, up like shh, shh, shh. And, and we are putting things on the floor. And it was just a little... <coughs> I tell you, I have the weirdest things happen to me while on vacation. So, you know. So, um, you know, the place was beautiful. It was called Villa Volmer. Um, <coughs> you know, the weirdest things happened to me. Of course, it was like <coughs> water came everywhere. So, no, it's never a dumb moment with me. You know, it's never. <laughs> it's just like, I have the weirdest things happen to me. So, this is Beautiful Patterns by Demita Victoria. So, of course, this is one of the newest ones. So, you see the flowers. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole books because. No, the faucet came out. The guy was able to reattach the faucet, but when I turned the faucet, it just popped out like a geyser. So it was like, we didn't know that there was a valve to turn off the water. So the guy turned off the water immediately when he came up. But I didn't know that. You know, it's just like, I didn't break the faucet. The faucet came out and, you know, obviously someone had messed with it before we had gone in there. So this is beautiful patterns. I like this one. I think I will do this one. Winter coloring book for adults by Pink Lidell. So hi, Shara. Nothing is ever that funny. You know, everybody says to me, this is called Winter Coloring Book for Adults by Pink Ladell. Now, I've been getting a lot of Pink Ladells. And some of these purchases were enabled by a couple of you, actually. So some of you guys were getting different things. So this is kind of like a, a Christmas slash holiday book, winter book. <laughs> oh, Andre, I'd be lucky you weren't here during the first part of the stream. With all these pretty pens. Oh, look at the pretty little diamond painting pens. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, which one is that one? This one, the the enable this outpost. This is called a blue one with pine cones in them. I have two more come in, Michelle. You need to get one from Enablers Outpost. They'll give you nice, thick ones. This is a nice, thick one. <laughs> I'm not as evil as Sam. Okay, you want evil? Sammy is evil because she enables me to find new... The ones from Enablers Outpost are like $25, and that's on the cheaper ends, Michelle. Maybe some nice person will buy you a nice thick pen for Christmas. <laughs> I have two more coming. Um, one from Brewers and one more from Donna Bass, and then I'm done. Well, these were ones that I ordered a while back that haven't come yet. So, you know, they were things. Then sometimes a pen comes along that's just so pretty that you just got to buy it. And I didn't buy for a really long time, guys, a big haul like this. I still got my Color in Heaven book coming, um, the magazine, the Christmas issue. I still got that issue coming. And I still got the Canuco Igusa coming. See, I like this with the three kids. You can color them any way you want. Interesting. Do you think that's really going to stop someone like me? This will be the last big haul for a while before Christmas, I think. <laughs> then I saw everybody and their mother getting this book. Everybody and their mother was getting this book. I tell you, I'm like, okay, I give in. <laughs> This is Halloween Coloring Book for Adults by Sally Berry. Now, this was very cheap, very affordable. I think it was like under $7. I think it was like under $7, this book. This is nice, big. Then it has a color test party. I think I saw this on Anne's channel. I think I saw this on Kate's channel. I think I saw this on Chalene's channel. I think I saw this on Nikki Niagara's channel. Then I did this one. That's a pumpkin, nice, big, easy prints. I like that. Pick or treat. You know what I'm saying? This is a kind of like an easy book when you want no stress. Then I saw this. I don't know whose channel I saw this on, but I saw this on somebody's on somebody's channel who I don't watch them that often. I probably will color in that one before the end of the month, Danielle. Yeah, I probably will. This is Countryside Coloring Book for Adults. Now, this is by Coloring Book Store. I had never heard of them. They look kind of a little bit like Creative Haven. When I saw this book, I thought of course Creative Haven. Um, but it's not Creative Haven. So this is called Countryside Coloring Book for Adults. Now, this has some really nice line work in it. And it's, dark, it's a little bit of a darker line work. I like the line work that it's a little bit darker. Some of this work reminds me of stuff that I've seen in other books. I hope to God this is not a, um, a, a company that stole the images from other companies and bought it because I've seen some of the work in other books. Similar pictures, not exactly like this. See, this one. I know this one is from a Creative Haven book. 
this one I remember, it's exactly like a creative paper book. I think they stole the images from creative paper. So sometimes you do get burned, guys. See, this is why flip throughs are important. So I think they have stolen some of the images from other companies because some of these pictures I've seen before. I really don't like when that happens, guys. So when you're getting books, be careful. Now, this one I saw from a color it book. So I, I'm going to report this book to Amazon saying that I think that this company stole images from Creative Haven and color it because I know some of these images very well. Already I see two images that I know from other companies. Doesn't mean it's not going to be a book to color. I don't like when I see things like that, guys. So This is called Lovely Portraits by Pink Ledell. And this is a light gray scale. It is a book of portraits. So. We are probably not coloring today. We'll probably color tomorrow. See, I like when there's light gray scale like this because then we can color in it. Look at that. Yeah, someone will call this the enablers hall. <laughs> I can just see Michelle going and writing down which books she wants. I can also see Kim going, okay, which books? <laughs> Raya, you don't know me very well. So you, you, you have, I haven't done a big haul like this in a while. See, I like images like this that are like grayscale. Now that I'm learning how to do dark skin, this is a marker book. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> Usually there's two versions of this. You know, Pink Claybell and Danita Victoria. Yeah, I know. Lots and lots of hair. If you want to practice hair, this would be a great book to practice hair. And no, I do not have super tips. Do not ask me. That's because you're not using markers. Section two. So I basically clicked through the first section of that. Another Ava book. Oh my God. I don't remember who I saw this book. I think I saw T's World of Coloring get this book and I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it on somebody else's channel. Somebody was doing Ava Brown. Maybe it was Color Colorita book. Yeah, but this isn't like the Jade Summer Chibis. So get that. This is from e e Ava, Ava Brown. So. See, that's cute. I think it was Color Rita Ville that was doing the Ava Brown books. And of course, knowing me. You know, not everything came all at once because look at that. That's cute. I could do these. Are, I like the, the girl's eyes in that. Yep. Cuteness overload. I like that. Hi, Courtney. How are you? It's called Chibi Girls Coloring Book by Ava Brown. Now, Ava Brown is new. Um, she has a lot of books already. Um, she's pretty new, so we'll stop here. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Courtney, she does a, um, a, a channel of her own. Another Pink Lebel book. 
This is called Fairy Little Land Adult Coloring Book by Pink Liddell. As you can tell, Pink Liddell is becoming one of my um, favorites, as uh, along with the Mita Victoria, Jade Summer. This is section one. You guys know that I can't resist fairies. I love fairies. You know, you guys should be nicer to me because you guys enable me too. So I see pictures, things on other people's channels too. And sometimes I get enabled just like everybody else. So it's a cycle. See, I like this little dragon or whatever little creature it is. That's pretty. I like fairies, unicorns, some dragons. Depends on how scary they are. Creative Haven. Christmas char um, coloring book. Now, I saw this. I think I saw this on Nikki's channel. If it wasn't Nikki's channel, it was Samantha Oswald's channel. I saw somebody with this book, and I actually really, really liked the pictures. Now, if you're not familiar with Teresa Goodridge, um, she is one of those uh, illustrators in Creative Haven that a lot of us like to, to get. So here's the picture that comes in me. So... I saw this on somebody else's channel, and I and I absolutely fell in love with um, the images in it. I think this is such a nice book if you want to do Christmas pictures or if you just want to do winter pictures. And, you know, in Creative Haven, I'm going to say this, um, Creative Haven has one of the most terrific lines of books, and not for a lot of money either, guys. You can get a lot of their books from the $6, and their books are... And they have a wide range of different books. Like they have seasonal books, Christmas books, um, fairy tale books, anything you can imagine, pattern books, steampunk books. And the paper though goes really well. Now, if you are going to use markers or any wet medium, I recommend a blotter page, of course. So that that. Now, here's some, hey, now this next book is a funny little story about this book. Yeah, Creative Haven is a great company for people who don't have a lot of money and want, to, want nice coloring books, but don't want to break the bank. So now here's a, this is a funny story. Now this is book six. I think the only book I don't have is book four or five. I forget which one is the Zodiac one, but I, I'm only, I only am missing one of these books. Now this is the newest one. This is book six. Now, what happened was I ordered it and I waited two months for it and I still didn't get it. So then she resent me it out and it came within like three days of her resending it out to me. So maybe a week. So, But this one you can get on Linda Ravenscroft's book and the paper is fantastic. It's 300 GSM. Now this is, yeah, but it's not like a spiral bound like the creative, the color of books or something that you would get from like, um, who's the, who's Color and Bliss? So is that Jennifer Stay or Jennifer Stay book, you know? Or some people do the artist editions to get a spiral back. So this one, you get off of Linda Raymond's Court book. They are a little bit on the more pricier side, but the paper is beautiful. This goes, it goes, the paper in this goes so well with markers, um, watercolor. Um, somebody even did acrylics and it did really well. The paper did really well with the acrylics. Somebody did a picture in it with the acrylics. So then you get a, a picture of Linda Ravenscroft's and it tells you a little bit about her. But the paper is fantastic on this. This is book six. It's a thicker paper, so you can use markers, but remember the rule about anything with wet mediums guys the paper here is fantastic
this is like some of my favorite stuff to color is in the Linda Ravenscroft book. I think I just don't have one book of hers and then that this is really good quality paper. Yeah. This one, you can do so many beautiful things in it. I've seen people use watercolor in these books and it's, it's just amazing. Now I'm not great at watercolor, but I know a lot of people, all you have to do if you use watercolor on these books, like anything else, you have to be careful about how much water you put. So they sent me the book twice and I finally got it, so. The field poppy ink and watercolor on paper by. So that's the book. So that's that one. Now this one, these this the next this book and the next one after it was enabled by Tears World of Coloring. Now for a lot of you guys, Tears World of Coloring used to be known as Cali Girl. Um, she enabled this book after I saw it on her finished pages last week, um, last month for um, September. And I know October is coming around, so. This one is called Woman and Flowers Coloring Book, number two. I saw it on T's channel and I immediately knew I had to have it because I love coloring women and I love coloring flowers, so Woman and Flowers. Now, this is the second volume. See? This is all T's fault. And for those of you who are asking me, the Kanuka Igusa book has not come in yet, so please do not ask me about that one. I did get it, but it's on its way, so do not ask me about books that I do not have yet. Then I know Emil Jarich is coming out with another one too. Yes, Rhea, we can blame T's World of Color into this book. We'll stop here. Next one, Woman and Flowers, number one, another book by, this is the first one. I, I saw it on her channel and I fell in love with the illustrations from the moment I saw her do pictures of them. Oh, which book should I color from everybody tomorrow? And we can't say um, Fairy Touch of Magic because Michelle doesn't have that book yet. I know, right? So if, you, if you're worried about skin and doing skin and you don't want to use one of your more expensive books, you can use one of your lesser known books. <laughs> it is a beautiful book, Michelle. It's, it's totally, that one's nice too. I like things like this.
This is the last picture in the book. Uh, five more books, four more books, and then we go into Prime Day. Uh, creepy but cute coloring book by Deborah Mueller. Now, this was something I saw on Anne Hatfield's channel. I actually liked the pictures in it. I have really started to like Deborah Mueller the more I do her. Um, I think her, her illustrations are really fun to color. I have really liked Deborah Mueller's. I think I have finished two books from her this year. And I'm on the verge of um, finishing my third book. So she has some great illustrations, Deborah Mueller. See, I could see someone like John loving this book. Um, if you don't know who John is, he's the bibliophilist colorist. And he does some great illustrations. Like, here's a Jason girl. I love Kim. I see this and I think of um, those Friday the 13th movies. Who here grew up with those, like, those, um, those 1990 and those 1980s uh, horror films like Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, um, Friday the 13th, Sleepaway Camp. I don't know if you could have this one for Catober. I guess you could. If you wanted to do cat skin, but I've never done cat skin, so this would be an interesting challenge for me. Fantastic Beauties 3. Book 3, Light Gray Scale by Demeter Victoria. We all know I have a, uh, yep, that was Halloween, I believe. Michael Myers is Halloween. Jason is Friday the 13th. Freddy is Nightmare on Elm Street. Angela is Sleepaway Camp. Jamie Curtis is also Halloween. You get your coloring tips. This is part one, so usually Demeter Victoria's books has two images of everything. I love this. See, I love people. I love coloring people. I love doing portraits, but I also like when they include little things like flowers, you know, other stuff behind the girls. I like this one. I don't know why, but I like this one. When I see this one, I think of an old plantation. This is the last thing in part one, so I'm not going to even do part two because it's the same pictures. Just depends on how you color it. Why Horror by Jade Summer Grayscale. Now, I I actually had the opportunity to buy the lime version, but I didn't want the lime version. I wanted the grayscale version. Now, I know a lot of people bought the lime version, but for me, I wanted the, the grayscale version. Sorry, I just like Jade Summer's grayscale a lot more than I like her um, line art. So, this is the Jade Summer grayscale version. Now, I like coloring grayscale a lot more than I like coloring line art, um, especially the Jade Summers, just because I think they come out better. That doesn't mean the line art isn't just as nice, but the grayscale just pops more, in my opinion. And there's always two versions. And as you can see, they've started doing this new thing where... <laughs> oh, but I have two more items, Carol. No, three more items after this. 
two more books and a, another a new thing. Um, so I like that. I'm sorry to say that Carol, the court is getting full. You should be lucky that you, this is not Sammy's channel. Someone's going to say, well, you don't do nighttime streams. I've never seen you do a nighttime stream. That's cute with the mirror. I've seen so many people do this picture. It's not even funny. This picture is getting a lot of people. A lot of people are liking this picture. This is the final image. And now they begin the second set because when they do that, they tell you here image one, second set. So that one. Pink label again. This is called Portrait by Pink Label. This is an adult coloring book. So this is by Pink Label. As you can tell, I have a new thing about pink lead bell. I can just see some people already saying, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Enabling this. It's nice. Sometimes they'll have artists who do two sets and then sometimes they'll come out with a book that only has one set of images in it. this image before somewhere else. I just can't remember where else I've seen the image. That's section two, so it's the same images. Prime day. <laughs> Prime day. As you can tell, I have something very big in here. <laughs> Prime day. This is the two prime day things I bought. This is one of the two prime day things I bought. So let me take the plastic off of it. This is called Colorite Fashions. It is 50 original hand-drawn designs, fashion through the ages. Now, you guys know that I really like coloring people and clothes. So, as you can tell, this is color it, And it's spiral bound. So, if you are lefty and you like to color... So then they give you, this is Color Coloring Book 32. is illustrated by Jackie Lou Perea and Patrick Bukoy. Yeah, they usually tell you. Then they give you this book belongs to. This is the blotted page. So this gives you all the tips and things that you need. 
You can buy this on Amazon or you can buy it through the Color It website. See, I like this little girl and all her stuff here. I really like these outfits. I could see one of my nieces wearing an outfit like this. And the paper is really nice. Um, for color paper, for color books, I recommend markers. You can do it with markers as long as you have the blotter page on it. They have some really good artists. Wasn't that expensive, actually. Colored books. Um, now, here's the thing. Some people are going to say $20 is a lot for a book. But here's the thing when you buy a color it book, if you spend $20 on a color it book, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, there are a lot of images in there. Do not think that because it's a, it's a little pricey, you don't get a lot of bang for your buck. They used to be about 15 or 16 and then the price went up because they have to come up with new products like their markers, their gel pens, um, new coloring books. Um, printing on paper gets more expensive. so. The reason why their price went up was because of all these reasons. And this was before the pandemic that their price went up. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. Don't think it's just one reason. See, I like little purses. See, this so reminds me of Elizabethan culture. Roman. I think this is like a David Bowie or a punk rock. Look at that princess dress. A biblical one. One more item, but it is very big. Yeah, I know sometimes we don't get mail, mail books. Yeah, if you guys go to the Jade Summer book, she'll tell you what's new. Oh, thank you. WTF are you reading? Mm -hmm. I did finish The Nameless Queen. I wrote a book review on my book blog, if anybody's curious. It's been a while since I've written a book review. So I put that on my book blog, if anybody's curious. Um, I started a new book, a new historical book from Lorraine Heath that I'm reading. See, I like this. That's some nice stuff. Oh, I'm looking forward to watching the first episode of The Mandalorian tomorrow on Disney Plus because it is returning tomorrow. So that is my little Christmas present. Oh, wow. Is this like punk rock or 80s rock? So, it's been a while, so I did that while I was on vacation, wrote the review, and then I posted it too while I was on vacation, so, because I had the computer with me, so, and that's the last page of that, there's a nice thick book, and then this, okay, everybody, the big thing, <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what this is? Let's see, Kim. What do you think this is? <laughs> Who knows what this is? Come on. Let's see if you guys can guess. It's not pencils. Very cool. Very funny, Kim. <laughs> it was pencils. Yes. Yes, markers. And guess what, guys? It is the same markers that I bought as last time. But this time they call them touch markers, which I found absolutely hilarious because they're the same markers I bought last time. But 
guess what? They call them touch and cool, right? Right? So I think they keep remarking these things. And so what are they, 93? Yeah, look at this, 93. Burnt orange, same color. I got 168 markers for $35. Now these were cheaper than any of the other markers. I got these for $35, 168 markers. Now, I was going to get the sprees. Um, and the reason why I didn't get the sprees was because it was only 128. Now, for me, getting 168 for 35 is much better than 128 for the same amount of money. So keep that in mind when you're buying things. You know, you want to buy things that are a little bit more. You know, I wanted to get more bang for my buck, so. And I keep the um, trays that they're in because then I can have more room to put my other markers in. So. So I'll probably do, I'll try and do a review of these. Even though they're almost the same markers as I bought before. Which is really funny that they changed the name to Touch Micah. I went away, I brought Kirby's book with me, I bought pumpkin spice and everything nice, and I bought daydreams with me. Now, I'm going to show you something. I did this. Okay, I did this page. Now, some of you may have seen this. On Instagram today, I did this completely with Crayola color pencils, guys. Because that's what I bought it with me. And of course, I have this mark on it, which I didn't know at the time I did it, but that's okay. Then I never have finished a picture in this book. So I finished this picture. And I did this with Crayolas too. I did this with Crayolas. You can tell I used my receipts to bookmark the page because I didn't have my little stickies. And then I also finished this one. Nice campfire one. I did that. Now, in the Kirby book, I did this one with Crayolas. But I haven't finished. And this is all Crayola colored pencils. So this is a work in progress. This is all Crayola pencils, guys. So, and as some of you may know what the theme is next month. Who thinks they know the theme next month? Next month. <laughs> no problem. Next month's theme. Yes, we, we are going to be coloring with Crayolas. But I, I want to show you what happened. One of my green pencils broke while I was doing it. Every time I tried to sharpen it, the green pencil that's supposed to go here kept breaking on me, and then it broke to almost non-existent thing. So I got rid of it because it kept breaking on me. So well, you can guess. These are my, my Crayolas. I took them on vacation with me. But some of my Crayolas actually... Um, and the Kirby book, the blue took a beating for whatever reason. The blue really did take a beating. Yep, that is the theme, Crayola Vember. So.
You can color with um, Crayola pencils, uh, Crayola markers, Crayola pastels, Crayola, uh, anything Crayola. Anything Crayola. If you have Crayola super tips, you can color with that. Anything Crayola. But I only have Crayola colored pencils, so that's what I'll do, be doing. So, because that's the only product that I have that's Crayola. Really. So I hope you guys have liked um, the whole video, and I hope you all are good, and I, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys have enjoyed this impromptu one. Wow, it's 1025. I normally don't go on at night, guys, but I was like, you know, it was so much stuff I had to show you guys. I know. Michelle loves, I, Michelle knows that I go to her stream. I was going to her stream quite a lot when I was uh, on vacation, so. Um, I tried to go to other people's streams if I could do it, you know. So I hope everybody has enjoyed it. So I hope you all have, have a good night, and may everybody enjoy their time, and hopefully I will be able to clean. Yeah, well, Carol, I have a lot of more cleanup to do, so there's a lot of cleanup. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Bye, everybody. I hopefully will sleep well. Bye, everybody.